Before that was Dead Thumb Blues number 3 in the key of E. And I tapped out the whole piece. If you're interested in the tablature, please do open the video description for more information. So we're in standard tuning. And here are my E's. And let's delve into the piece. So I play the first four bars. And it's mainly, of course, about the dead thumb blues, how to use that, and to use some dynamics, to put some dynamics in your playing. So the country blues bass, I explained that before, I think, but uh, for those who don't know, it's played open and then muted. And in the beginning you hear me very clearly play this. So I turn my hand to uh, mute the strings with this part of my hand. I'm sliding up to the fifth fret and using both fingers to play both first and second strings. Middle for the first strings and index for the second string. And when there's not much of nothing happening in the trebles, I may play the bass open to get some, uh, well, to fill the space, so to speak. Again, that third measure. And here in the tablature you will see a little sign like that, a little Chinese hat. It means mute and with the picking fingers preferably. By putting them back on the strings again and killing the sounds. Again in the fourth measure, like that. Okay, and now we go to the A, we're changing bass. Again sliding, triplet in the second beat, and again. You can also move your, your hands a little bit up, left hand, that will kill the second string more easily. And in the fourth beat you can play either one bass or a double bass. A little bend, both strings not much, the pinky goes back to the fifth fret and the third fret at the index. And the second finger remains on the fifth fret. And of course you can do many, many variations with this, this kind of figure. hours like that. <laughs> All right, in the seventh measure we go back to the E. Again. And in the last beat of the eighth measure we're sliding to the seventh fret. Go to a B7, it's your long A chord moved up. So and 
And after the B7, of course, in the 10th measure, we go to the A7. And I'm not forming the chord, I just use my two fingers. And bending just a little bit, not much, both strings. Like that. And I'm sliding to the 5th fret and I didn't play it, I didn't pick it. Uh, you can do that, of course. And in the 11th measure we go back to the E. Quick slide back, grace note almost, open. that brain. All right, the B section. And we're repeating that. So we're forming a B chord, uh, E chord, but you can use just one finger as well. But don't touch the open uh, A string then. And in the second beat there, we're playing that. Slide bend, and then mute when we go to the fourth fret, fourth string. Not a mute. And back to the 13th and 14th measure. Just once. B7. So I'm sliding into the B7 chord. Set. Rather strange A7, and well, quite a stretch, but it's natural, it's under your fingers. You don't have to stretch abnormally to get that pinky on the fifth fret, fourth string, and the index on the third string, second fret. Give nine. It's probably not an A7, but some kind of A chord. I learned that from Doug Baker. I use it a lot in a song called, which I recorded a long time ago, called Yada Yada Blues. <laughs> yeah, look that up. section. All right, then we go in the C section up the neck. And well, note the, <clears throat> how I should say, the, Accenting there. I'll play that a little bit, those open strings a little bit louder. So, ten, 12 frets, 10 frets, triplet, add the pinky to the 12th fret first string, open, bend the second string, 7 and 8 fret. Bar 
94. And then going down in the 20, 25th measure. fifth fret, second string. All right, those first four bars one more time. Sorry. Then going to the A. Line the sixth fret, uh, third string. Followed by a triplet, and then add the pinky and the third finger to the seventh fret, second and third string. And slide with your second finger to the ninth fret and add the <coughs> other finger. This is your D7 moved up, so it becomes an A. The Robert Johnson kind hearted woman blues chord. So. And go a little bit crescendo there. And add the pinky to the 10th fret. measure. So one more time that A section. And that's uh, some Lolly Johnson for you. You use this uh, kind of uh, licks very often. <clears throat> All triplets. I'm not going to say every position the tablature makes that clear. And there's a lot of possibilities to, to do some accenting to put some dynamics in your playing. If you play it flat like... It doesn't sound really cool. And in the last two beats of measure 29, we're forming a B7 chord with a thumb wrap for just two beats. Adding the pinky to the ninth fret. And then for the A. Triplet and then and accent the first beat, the first hit of that triplet when we go to the bending of that 7th fret 2nd string. Bend and normal release. 5th, 4th, triplet. Slide. And then to end a little fantasy. And they do a lot in classical music instead of just a double double stop, well play it with two fingers separately. And 
let's light the long chords, the long A chord, to the ninth and twelfth fret. And there you have the Dead Time Blues number three. Have fun.